It is time for some tough love with Steve the Dean and Donovan Sharp. They're not going to tell you what you want to hear. They're going to tell you what you need to hear by keeping it 100% real. If you're the type who gets his feelings hurt, this ain't for you, player. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 409th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. We are brought to you in part by Tactical Soap. Tactical Soap is a natural pheromone soap that enhances alpha status, masculinity, attractiveness, and charisma. Tactical Soaps are formulated with bio-identical pheromone blends designed to enhance the alpha male attitudes that women love and men respect. You can buy Tactical Soap through my affiliate link on DonovanSharp.com. And be sure to use the promo code Donovan to get an additional 10% off. Oh, pardon me. Um, Be sure to subscribe to my weekly newsletter to stay in the know on all things Donovan Sharp. Being on my email list also comes in handy in the event that I get deplatformed here or anywhere else. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to blow up your inbox. But if you don't want to miss anything, be sure to subscribe to the weekly TSR newsletter. If you like what you hear, if you get something out of my content and you want to contribute to the show, you guys can do that through my Streamlabs link. That's www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. One. That's www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. And the number one, 100% of your contributions goes directly to the show. The Donovan Sharp mobile app is now available. It is the first and only mobile app in the Manosphere and is only available to my patrons. You can buy TSR merchandise, read my books, patronize my sponsors, as well as schedule and pay for consultations. And you can do it all right from the app. You can also join Instadon, which is my private social media feed exclusive to my mobile app users. If you're an Android user, you can enable push notifications so you will always know when and where I go live, as well as announcements such as new TSR gear styles added to the shop, release dates of my upcoming books, and so forth. So become a patron today and download the Donovan Sharp mobile app. It is Thursday, February 14th, 2019. Today is Valentine's Day. And of course, we are joined for Tough Love Thursdays by my man, Steve the Dean Williams. Steve, how's it going? How's your Valentine's Day? Did you get any chocolate? Did you, did you get any head? What's going on, brother? No, uh, I, I'm i just chilling, man. I uh, just want to welcome y'all motherfuckers to Sucker Me Season. It's almost over. It ends today. Sucker Me Season ends uh, uh, tomorrow. Today, today's the last day of it. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, no, I'm sorry. Tax day. Tax day is the end of Sucker Me Season. But yeah, okay. we're almost done with it, man. We're almost done with it. Good stuff. Uh, BK from the Rocky says, damn, a thumbs down already. The show just freaking started. Well, the... The name of the show is why most women don't deserve shit for Valentine's <laughs> Day. So yeah, that's that that's probably going to get a few thumbs down if we're all being completely honest. Now, let me start things off in terms of Valentine's Day. Um and this is just sort of uh, this is just sort of crib notes, cr- uh, cliff notes. You, if we're going to look at Valentine's Day from a red pill perspective, you have to get your woman what she deserves. Don't be meathead red pill guy and say, I don't give a fuck. I'm not sending her shit for Valentine's Day because I don't do Valentine's Day, motherfuckers. By the same token, you don't need to be, well, it's Valentine's Day. Even though she has to suck my dick like a month, she deserves it. No, 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 no. If your woman takes good care of you, send flowers to her office. Give her that validation. If she earns the the validation, gentlemen, give it to her. If you don't, she will quit working for it. Now, now we're going to talk a little bit about side chicks, main chicks, et cetera, et cetera. If you're just fucking her, if you're just fucking a girl, but you don't hate her, here's what you give to that girl. Give her maybe a half eaten box of chocolates and maybe a funny Valentine's Day card to keep it light. If she's a side chick, okay, if she is your, if she is your side chick, you've got a main chick, you got your number one side chick. I'm not saying that you have to go all out, but you got to make sure you acknowledge her. If you don't, if you don't at least make contact with your side chick, this shit will blow. Dude, she will blow up your spot, especially if she knows you got a main chick. And listen, most side chicks, by the way, they know you got a main chick. And by the way, side chicks never want to stay the side chicks. They're biding their time until they can find someone better who will make her his main chick or they can convince you to leave your main chick. And if you've got airtight game, you have given her the impression that you may leave your main chick to keep her around, but you both know you're never leaving your main chick. So to keep her from getting crazy, send her some, you know, listen, give her a balloon, send her some flowers, whatever the case may be. You're not doing this because you love her. You're doing this to shut her the fuck up 
and give her the impression that you actually might like her outside of sex. Fuck buddies and friends with benefits. They don't get anything except for maybe the half-eaten box of chocolates. And that is the Donovan Sharp Valentine's Day gifting schedule. Steve, your thoughts? Well, yeah, I got. I got. Would always tell guys a few things. I always tell them that uh, if you have a good woman, uh, I always teach guys how to see. A lot of guys don't know if you're doing it right, Donovan. You should be getting a phone call tomorrow because your ex is thinking about you today right and and i got a little bit of game for him shall you tell me get their crayons out? hey 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 get the, hey hey get the crowns ready get, get the crayons, crayons ready now, now, drop now, it. now now what, what i always te teach my clients and stuff donovan is a way to not only have your woman the center of attention but also be wanted by other women envied by men and it all happens when you ask for dessert at dinner time all at that wow. time it's a, and it's real quick. I just give it to you real quick. Let's do it. But, uh, basically, what's happening right now? All the women have got all their presents already. All they got, all they like you were saying. You you hit it on the head. They got their chocolates and their flowers and all their fucking gifts already. Now, if you a motherfucking Donovan Sharp, yeah, I mean, or a man mindset motherfucker, yeah, I mean, we don't <laughs> we do things a little bit different. What I would say for that guy is, I would get the balloons, the chocolate, and the flowers. Okay. And I would go to the restaurant, meet the uh, the owner, find out who my waiter is, meet my waiter, and tell my waiter, look, at, and when I ask for dessert, I want you to bring one item out every five minutes. So then that way, Donovan, while everybody's in that packed room, because you know every restaurant's gonna be packed. All oh, the women already have, yeah. they already had their shit earlier than the daytime. So when you ask for dessert, what do you think the reaction is gonna be when he comes out with the balloons? It is gonna be a it's gonna be a domino effect. All the guys gonna be like, damn, why not think about that? All the women gonna be like, oh my god, that's the sweetest thing in the world. And then after that, in the next five minutes, they bring out the chocolates. And then last but not least, when they bring the flowers out, Donovan, you stand up, take the flowers out of his hand, put it in front of your girl, <laughs> kiss her on her cheek, you sit back and chill the fuck out. And why that works is because you get the call on the 15th, Donovan, is because most guys are doing average shit nowadays and women will always remember the best most greatest time of their life and that's why we get calls on the 15th uh starting tomorrow from exes and shit that we used to fuck Woo, dude that i'm gonna tell you what bro that is that is rock solid game again i want to reiterate that see see valentine's day and kyle mitchell makes a very good point here he says, call it what it is. It's validation day. Yes, valid. Listen, Valentine's Day is validation day. Most chicks don't deserve shit for Valentine's Day, guys. Most chicks lie, cheat, and fuck other guys. This is what this is what most wives and girlfriends do. Yet on February 14th of every year, Valentine's Day, they expect this to be sort of a lifetime achievement award. I have been with you for six months two years, five years, 12 years. Mm. So by virtue of me just being with you, irregardless of how I've been, irregardless of how I've treated you, okay, I deserve to be validated. I deserve something for Valentine's Day. Um, unfortunately for most men, they continue to validate these women, even though mm. they are not worthy of it. Um, I got Devin. What did I get Devin for? I actually sent her something to her office uh, for Valentine's Day. It didn't get there because of a weather delay. All right, big fucking deal. She'll get it tomorrow. Here's something else I got her for Valentine's Day. Came today. I got her a pair of stars and stripes heels, right? Look at these motherfuckers. She can probably, dude, the, she's not wearing these anywhere. She's getting fucked in these. You want to know when? She's going to get fucked in these on July 4th. Memorial Day, Veterans Day, all those red, white, and blue, all those red, white, and blue uh, barbecue holidays, this is what Devin is going to be fucked in. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetie. Happy Valentine's uh, appreciate, Day. Pre appreciate that. Um, also, you know, I'm actually thinking of doing like a uh, uh, a Devin photo. Have her, anyway, I'll have her wear the make women great again. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna tell you guys what it is right now. I just thought of this. I'm going to have her wear the make women great again. Uh, hat backwards that I have. She's going to be wearing these heels and a red thong. She's going to be bending over. Make women great again. Happy Valentine's Day to the luscious Devin. And oh, by the way, one, two, three, these four items that you see here, plus red lipstick, this is all Devin is going to be wearing when I fuck her tonight. Yes, 
Those are, yes, absolutely. So yeah, this is, listen, this is what Valentine's Day is like when you're a man. And it's a shame that we have what we call a steak and blowjob day. I had no idea what steak and blowjob day was until Devin told me. I was like, what the fuck is steak and blowjob day? Well, it's the answer to Valentine's Day. I'm like, okay, what are you talking about? Well, what do guys want more than anything? Steak and blowjob. Okay, got it. And women want validation. So Valentine's Day, steak and blowjob day. Right. Well, here's the problem. I said, well, that's confusing. She said, why? Well, every day is steak and blowjob day here at the Sharp Family Compound. So yes. what's the big deal? That's the way this should be. You, you know, Donovan, what's weird is that uh, uh, it's unfortunate a lot of guys don't even get this. You know, every uh, in January, uh, Donovan, January 1st, we always prepare our guys on the man mindset that uh, the week from the 7th to the 14th is the greatest week of the year for any single guy it is when the when the sun the moon the stars line up because we what we try to tell our guys to do is hit these single events because these women are desperate they're needy and they're more aggressive because they want a valentine you know a lot of women out there buy uh flowers and chocolates for themselves, they order the flowers wow, and chocolates. Yes, and, and get it pretend, to themselves. Right, they would pretend like they mm. got a fucking man. But when they go to those single events that's happening, even they got some going on probably tonight. These bitches are thirsty and desperate and very aggressive. And this is why we always tell guys, you should be, you should fuck you know, like you say, you good, Donovan. You got the stake and the blowjob. Oh, yeah, half okay. these motherfuckers ain't getting no ass. They should be out there at these events cleaning the fuck up because these women are looking for somebody to fuck and they are willing to go uh, uh, pass up their rules just to get a man this whole week, man. Well, again, women are used to getting what they don't deserve. Women are used to getting favors, gifts for no other reason, but that yeah. they're women. This is why when they, when Valentine's day comes around and they don't have a Valentine's day to a Valentine to validate them, this is why they go fucking crazy. I'm opening up the phone lines, gentlemen. I want your best and worst Valentine's Day stories, okay? I want the, and I'm talking about sim tales. Talk about how you went all out for a girl past high school because we all go all out in high school. We're still kind of innocent then. When you're out of high school, I want I want to know the worst Valentine's Day story. I want to know about Valentine's Day hookups. I want to know about breakups. Did you find out she cheated on you? Your your best and worst Valentine's Day stories, 914-205-5356. You guys are watching the 409th edition of TSR Live with Donovan Sharp. If you guys want access to all of my content, go to patreon.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. There you will find the entire archive of all complete episodes of TSR Live, both audio and video, so you can listen on the go or watch at your leisure. You can watch my show Monday through Thursday afternoons at 5 Eastern, but if you want to be able to rewatch or re-listen to the episodes in their entirety, less than 17 cents a day is all that it takes. Let's go back to the top of the, let's go back to the top of the chat, get a check in here. RP Mamba pops the cherry. Outcast Drews gets sloppy seconds, unfortunately. Ryan Sullivan gets to fuck her in the ass. Luigi Conti gets to finish on her face and get it all on camera. So he's getting that POV, he's getting that POV action going on. Kyle Mitchell is listening through the door. Very good. Shout out to BK from the Rockies, Winston Wolf, Jack Bone. Jack Bone says, why no opening theme, guys? Is he mad at us? <laughs> no, man. When I'm on Google Hangouts, I have a Mac, so I don't have I don't have a Google Hangouts plugin for OBS. Um, if I had a if I had a Windows-based computer, I could have done it, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. My man CJ Mutter is in the house. Suede Senator says he approves this message. Kyle Mitchell made the comment of the night. Listen to this, Steve. He says, Donovan is like the Coke dealer who takes his time to get back with you. I am hooked, Donovan. Return my text. I need that good white. <laughs> Bro, I've sent, listen, I've sent, I've sent that text before. Yo, where you at? Where you at? You got me? You got me? <laughs> I know exactly how that goes. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kemi Smoker, Chemi Smoker, good to see you in here. Little Rock 2517. Kevin Ibanez, shout out to you. Let me ask you something because a lot of guys yes. in the in the red pill community, in the red pill sector, like to talk about, well, if you get your woman something for Valentine's Day, then you are a beta. You are a cuck. Um, and here, and again, this is why I qualified this particular episode, why most women don't deserve shit 
mm-hmm. for Valentine's Day. Most women don't. Well, most women don't deserve to be validated on Validation Day. But there are women out there. And this is funny, Steve. How many times have you heard women use the standard, okay, you did this for me and that for me and you do this, but what have you done for me lately, right? Mm-hmm. The same standard should be held to women. Okay, so she's been a half-decent woman for you. But if she hasn't sucked your dick in the last two weeks, if she hasn't cooked you a good meal in the last week, if all of a sudden she's acting a fool, then that's the standard. What have you done for me lately? Where do you think guys go wrong, Steve, when they start, uh, when they lose their minds about what to get their women for Valentine's Day? Well, that, that's that's where they go wrong right there, what, what to get their woman. They, again, they uh, I keep trying to tell these motherfuckers, stop making it about these fucking women. Stop, stop making everything about the goddamn woman. Make it about you. You set the standard. Remember, you train everybody on how to treat you. So she should already know that she should do four fucking things. Right. Submit, serve, fuck you, and shut the fuck up. And I don't, in, in that, maybe in that order, <laughs> mix that shit up. But that's the, that's the standard here. Your ass needs to well, Look, when you get off of work, whatever, you got to cook a fucking meal. And I don't, right. mean, I don't mean grab something frozen and pop that shit in the microwave. You get your Betty Crocker ass in that motherfucker and cook a motherfucking meal. If you know I'm playing video games and I like to have a nice little beer or my wine there, or not wine, but your liquor, whatever the fuck you drink, she should have that shit right next to you. Give you a kiss, take her ass in the goddamn room. What's up? I'm all about rewarding good behavior. And the problem with these guys is that they are so afraid to lose the woman that they reward bad behavior, Donovan. She ain't fucking you. She she running her fucking mouth. She putting your business on the street. She trying to tell you how to be a goddamn man. And what do you do? You reward her with chocolates and flowers and shit. That's why, Donovan, when, when, it, when most of these guys, girls come home, they're like, damn, honey. You got more roses than I expected. Why? Because all the mother yah means and send her shit at her goddamn job and shit. So I'm just saying that these guys got to start. The problem they are, Donovan, is making it about her. When you make it about yourself in the beginning, Donovan, you're not going to have these problems because she knows that it's based on your behavior, just like a job. There it is. If, 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 if you do what you are supposed to do, submit, serve, Fuck me and shut, shut the, the fuck, up. fuck up. Know your place at the goddamn table. Then guess what? I will be happy to reward you because you're showing me good behavior. You deserve it. You deserve it. Like you deserve a break today. Yeah, you deserve it. <laughs> nah, man, that's how I go, fam. You know where a lot of guys go wrong right at the beginning of their relationships, and this does tie into Valentine's Day, um, quite. Um, uh, uh, quite seamlessly. Guys always wonder, why is my girl out of pocket? Why is my girl misbehaving? Why is it that the more I do for her, the more she disrespects me? It's because you didn't set the precedent at the beginning of the relationship, okay? You didn't make clear to her through your actions that good that good behavior is to be rewarded and bad behavior is to be punished. Guys, this is This is the difficult, this is the challenging part of having a good relationship. You must reward the good and punish the bad consistently. This doesn't mean you reward her for every single little thing she does, right? And actually, I pointed this out in a previous in a previous episode. You you reward her good behavior between 60 and 70, maybe between 60 and 65% of the time, because you don't want her doing things strictly to get rewarded. Because if that's the case, then if she doesn't want anything, she's not going to do anything. You understand what I mean? But you must punish bad behavior 100% of the time because if you don't, she's going to get out of pocket. Well, how this ties into Valentine's Day almost seamlessly is that guys are literally rewarding their women. They And it's, it's almost as though Valentine's Day, Steve, is the eraser. It doesn't matter what has happened the last week, the last fortnight, the last month, the last six months. Soon as Valentine's Day gets here, it is an understood agreement that you, the man, will validate you, the girlfriend. Irreg- again, irregardless of what she's done, how how you know if 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 she's been a good woman, if she's gotten out of pocket. No, soon as Valentine's Day gets here, because I'm your girl, I deserve Valentine's Day. And 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 again, guys always wonder where did I go wrong. It starts in the beginning, and every Valentine's Day that comes, and you're getting her a bunch of flowers and and chocolates and this and that and the other. And by the way, never get your woman chocolates for Valentine's Day. 
that's definitely listen these are for me Devin got actually Devin got me Hershey's chocolate because I know she knows I have a weakness for sugar got me this dude got me um uh uh the popcorn oh my god what's the really nice gourmet popcorn got me a whole Valentine's Day package with with the gourmet popcorn To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.